Hi everyone, I'm Grattles, and welcome to a new episode of City Skylines. This is Lachlan, and if you're new to my channel and you don't know what I do, I do Let's Plays tutorials, tips, tricks on City Skylines. So if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, and share. So the last time we left off, we put in that big retail area, and this time we got to level up some of our population. So I'm thinking about maybe doing some seaside residence with a small area once we open it as a little city town center sort of thing going on. Um, I'll explain more when we get out of this view. So let's get started. All right, so here we are. I think what we'll do is we'll run a road down here right behind the railroad tracks and another one down in here maybe connect it up into here somewhere and then make some connections through I also think we're gonna have to fill in a little bit in here as well as over maybe over in here um, just to get the population up to 6500 that's when we can open up a new area so let's go ahead and see what we can do here um, right now we have a huge demand for residential. I think we're going to go in with our 1U, the smaller roads, and we're just going to curve this and bring it down to right at the edge of the, edge of the map here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I think that looks okay. We have a bit of a ridge here, no big deal. Um, we're not gonna put any houses on this side anyway. We will get rid of the trees in front so their view is not blocked. And I think we'll take this road somewhere in here and just kind of bend it into there. So I think that'll be fine. Let's come on this side, do the same thing. Let's just start off of here. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, it's perfect because I'm, like I said, I'm not zoning on this side. Um, all right, so this is connected to this. This I do want to connect up into here. So let's see, we'll probably come on a little bit of a curve just maybe there, not too far out. Let's go 90 right there, and bend that in. And we could also make another connection somewhere right there. Um, as far as connecting to the farm goes, I don't want to do that. But I do want to see if we can connect these two areas together. So let's use a little bit bigger of a road. And maybe we'll come in something like, let's go back. And just bend this in. No, I don't like that. Let's turn this around just a bit. Something like that looks okay for me. It's not straight, which is what I don't want, so that works out. Um, down in here, I'm not sure how we're gonna fill that in yet. Um, we do need to run water, so I'll be right back. Okay, so the water is run. I'm gonna delete these. These don't line up with anything. They were from the temporary uh, industry we had that was polluting. So let's go ahead and just delete all those. Okay, so now that we did that, ah, get back. Ooh, I did notice our water is a little low. So before we get building, I would think we'd want to put in a little bit of sewer 
as well as some water towers. So let's go ahead and do that before we get started. And I think in here, we'll put some of the water towers. I think that'll look pretty cool. All right, so we're good on water. Power is still pretty good. Eventually we'll have to deal with that. So uh, yeah, let's get building. So the first thing we're gonna do is, let's go into our zoning. We'll take this down smaller and we'll just put a zone right around here. Now eventually we will fill in this whole area with the same zoning, but for now, Let's just run this right around. So over here, if we do put a residential area in there, I think we'll just make that a different kind of district. We'll see how that goes. So let's just make sure everything is covered that we need. All right, so let's go into our district themes. And we're gonna use a uh, seaside for this. So let's click on that. And let's just pause the game a little bit. Just make sure nothing is going on um because it gets a little crazy if you run at three speed and you're not paying attention um so the first thing i'm going to look for is where it's going to connect to the electricity so i'm thinking down here is our best bet for over here so we're just going to fill these in just a few and then we'll run it on three speed again and we'll get this filled in first once this starts coming in and it moves down We'll start to fill in more now we're getting a lot of abandonment of pier does not I guess a lot of people working here we can dezone some of this which we may have to do it might be just too much for this area so I might go ahead and do that now let's go ahead and just dezone a bunch of these let's dezone that that might be just enough just dezone that and then we'll probably just rezone this area here there all right so let's go back to where we are we'll use the fill we'll just fill this in nice and we'll even fill in that one and these few down in here. All right, so we still have a high demand for um, residents. So let's go ahead and put some more over in here. And we'll start over by the farm because I think that will work. And let's make sure this district definitely covers them. All right, let's continue filling this out and I'll keep my eye on them. So far, so good. Yep, they're smoking away. So yeah, these all have that nice smoke coming out of the tops there, which I really like, making sure everybody's coming in properly. Um, in between, what I should have done, which we're still having issues over here, is put in a park or a community garden something yeah let's grab these nice little community garden um just in between for parks these guys seem to be covered well i don't know why they have such good coverage over here but they do so i think what we'll do is we'll see if we can put one um, we'll just kick him out let's see if that gives us a little boost i don't know if it will but we'll see doesn't look like it <laughs> it's not doing anything uh, we'll put one there and then what we'll do is we'll put a park maybe a dog park 
right down in here. There we go. And don't forget, they probably could use some services as well. I bet they're, um, let's put a little children's park there. Um, I bet you their fire and police are really low. They are. I think on the other side of this, but it's not going to fit right there. But we'll put him there. And we'll put another one down in here. Not police. I don't think, I think we're all right with police. Let's use this guy. Maybe this cute little fire station right in here. He's just a tiny little guy. But he should give us pretty decent coverage. Over here we need some electric. You know what, he'll get some in a minute when we get some more residents moved in. So let's do that. All right, that's pretty good. I don't want them going too close to in there. Let's make sure everybody's coming in nicely. Looks like it. Perfect. All right, I think along here, we may add a little bit of shops, just sporadically. All right, so we have a few shops growing in there, a few shops growing in down here. We could add to this as well. Now, we definitely still need quite a few residents, unfortunately. We basically just hit the tip, that's it. We did not go very far with this. So let's come down in here. We already have this zoned. And let's see if we can run a few streets down in here. Okay, so that seems good. We got that residential demand down. Let's go ahead and add a few more shops here. All right, so that seems good. We're up to about 47 now, and that is definitely not, <laughs> definitely not 6,500. So let's come back down into here, and I think we'll do another district. All right, so let's see, we got Laurel District. We'll go to themes and let's use, should we use terrace houses? Should we use terrace houses too or semi-detached? Let's enable, or we could do a UK village. That might be nice, let's try that. All right, let's get some roads down and let's pause the game a moment. I don't want to get too crazy with anything. Uh, you know what? Let's let this run. We're almost up to 5,000. So let's get up to 5,000 if we can. We have no schools. So I think, and we have no electric down here. Let's see what we got going on. Um, what if we went into, is it natural disasters and grab this and just put him under the bridge here. Would he bring that through? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right. So we got the electric run through. That's good. So we have no schools. Um, yeah. We're definitely going to need some schools. So maybe what we'll do is off of here, we'll put a high school and an elementary school. And some medical. Because we have no medical. So let's take maybe this elementary. Put that there. Maybe this high school here, right there. Actually, we might run a little bit of a different road here. Let's see. Let's get this one way road. We're just gonna go, let's get straight. 
Let's go there. I'm gonna move him out of the way. Get out of the way. Okay. And then we're gonna come across like that and like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing over here. Let's move this one out of the way. Thank you. And then we'll come across and then come back in. All right. So what we'll do with these guys is move them back. Whoops, we have to hit move it. I think that looks okay. Let's get rid of some of these trees in here so we can see what we're doing. And that's another thing I wanted to do. Let's pause this. Let's come down here. I just want to delete the trees. I'm sorry if I jerk the camera a little bit. Let's delete all these trees in front of their view. We don't want them to lose their view here. And yeah, I think that'll look good. All right, so I think that's good. All right, let's get some water. Got water here. They need electric. If they need electric, let's go ahead and see if we can put the parks in for them. Uh, this is the small playground. I think we could add that right next to him, right there. And then we'll get the basketball. Put that there, or the tennis, I think that was tennis. And we'll put the basketball there. And then we'll fill in some more shops and some more roads. So let's get the roads going first. I think we'll stick with these smaller roads. I think they just make more sense in this nice smaller air area here. I don't think we're gonna go straight just grab some water and just kind of really just fit it in here all right so press play everybody should be on that water should be fine yep everything's running okay turn it down to one speed uh, let's go ahead to the district and themes and we put on the UK village and let's go ahead and fill us in. I think that's good. I think we got quite a few, a few, <laughs> quite a few filled in. Let's just go ahead and finish filling up our retail here. Our demand is at commercial right now, um, which is quite crazy because we have commercial that's not filled in. Again, I think we might put in a few parking lots along here somewhere just because uh, I don't want them parking on these really narrow streets. It just doesn't make any sense, especially with the schools here and stuff. So let's turn around. Let's see if we got the parking lots. Here we go here. We can't quite fit them in that way, but we could fit them in sideways. Let's make this no parking. Nobody's using our spots, which is really funny, but it's okay. Uh, our population is up to 57, so we're getting closer. Not quite there. We have plenty to go in. We have plenty to go here. Um, our farm is creeping up a little bit, so I think we'll go ahead and take care of a little bit of that. We'll add a little bit to our farm. Uh, let's just make sure the district is... Yeah, that's plenty. Okay, so let's go ahead and maybe come down with a little bit of a gravel road. 
We only have a few of these. I think we need more processing plants. Um, I'm wondering whether we should move our warehouses down back in here and then put some of these in here. I'm not sure. I don't want this pollution to go by our people. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, um, let me just hit this into three speed. Take a quick look around, make sure nothing's going crazy. And yeah, let's move these warehouses back and make sure that we can actually fit our equipment. So let's grab this one and let's turn it so he fits fine in here. Yeah, I think we'll add another milking parlor and our demand for our, let's do this, for our industry should go down. We'll add another flour mill and let's go ahead and get some more workers barracks and um, maintenance buildings. Where do we wanna put these maintenance buildings? I think we could put them throughout the farm. I think one can go up here, one can go here and then maybe one on the end down here. So let's take a look at that. I think one will go up in here. One can come down into here. And then one over in here. Let's see, right there. All right, so our demand's gone down. Our people have gone up. We still have a little bit more to get to, but we're super close to our our goal and then we'll be able to open this tile down here so that is super fun there we go we did it oh it's 6500 i thought it was 67 yay all right so we hit big town and we're gonna leave this off here next episode we'll be able to open up a new tile and we have high density so let's run this on one speed because i don't want anything to get crazy let's take a look so I think we're gonna go ahead and buy this tile. Now it's not gonna give us a lot of land. I know. It's only gonna give us, I think, right down here in the middle, um, which will only let us fill out the rest of this because we don't wanna f make this completely tight. But while we're working with uh, milestones, we have to wait to open up tiles. Eventually, maybe we'll unlock things, but right now I wanna keep it um, with the milestones, with the, you know, limited money and stuff. And, um, yeah. So I think we're going to open up this, make this a little town center. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit more of commercial and then bring some more residential around the edge. Not sure yet. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure if I really want to run this road across and into here. It was an idea, but I'm not sure if I want to keep going with it. But high density uh yeah i kind of really wanted to leave high density out to this area in here um and then kind of like semi high density so i want the real tall buildings out in here and then i don't know this still looks really rural and not really high density looking to me but um yeah we'll see where it goes from here so I think we're going to have to put a bus to this um, and get these people on board with a bus or something. But we could also look at other modes of transportation as well. So 
I'm gonna leave you off uh, maybe we'll take a little bus ride again or something a lot of people like those bus rides um, because when they go in through the town, it really makes a difference. Maybe we'll even drag a bus route down and through here and see if we can get something going on. Over here, we kind of have a stop, you know. But over here, we could bring something just going through this area. So let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick. We'll go to our buses. Um, we'll go to our route. Let's see. What do we have here? We do have this guy. Can we drag him? We could drag him here, and mm, let's see, I'm thinking, you know, we could do, we got this one going this way, we could bring it to this side, coming down in there, and then what we could do is bring him this way. There we go. And then that brings us through there. And then we could, well, we got this red one going through the farm. So we're gonna leave him. I think it just makes sense. Um, just checking on how this green one's getting through here. Double backing. Eh, it's okay. You know what? We could just delete this stop right here and that'll help. Anyway, let's go ahead. Let's ride a bus, and if you like my content and you want to see more, like, subscribe, comment, share, do all those great things, because it really does help me so much, and I appreciate it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.